Disgusting Hagfish by Mish Goldish. A yucky mess. As it hunts for its next meal, an octopus sees an animal that looks like a snake. However, the snake is really a hagfish. The scared hagfish quickly shoots white slime at the octopus. The slime turns thick and sticky in the water. The stinky, gooey mess makes it hard for the octopus to breathe. It barely escapes alive. Hagfish are also known as slime hags or slime eels. Scientists call them the most disgusting animals in the ocean because of their sticky goo. Slime time. A hagfish is always making slime inside its body. It pushes out the sticky goo when it's in danger. The slime shoots out of tiny holes called pores in the fish's skin. The milky slime clouds the water, making it hard for an enemy to see the hagfish. A hagfish's slime increases when it mixes with seawater. Minutes after a hagfish shoots out its slime, there's enough goo to fill a seven quart bucket. Deadly goo. Slime from hagfish can kill an enemy. In the water, the goo clogs the enemy's gills. This makes it very hard for the creature to breathe. If the slimed enemy doesn't swim away from the goo quickly enough, it dies. Few sea animals are brave enough to attack hagfish. Seabirds, codfish, porpoises, and dolphins, however, don't fear this disgusting creature. And this picture just shows you what their slime looks like. Not now. When a hagfish slimes an enemy, it also gets slime on itself. The hagfish has a trick, though, to get rid of the goo on its own body. The long, thin fish ties itself into a knot. Then it moves in and out of the knot. This action wipes off the slime. And we can see a hagfish in a knot in that picture. It says slime can even clog a hagfish's nose. The animal gets rid of it by sneezing. And if you see all the way down on the right, it shows you it points to their nose. Slip and slide. Slime doesn't just protect the hagfish, it also helps it get food. A hagfish hunts for sick or dead animals on the ocean floor. When a hagfish spots its prey, it slimes itself to make its body slippery. Then it can squeeze inside the animal through a body opening, such as the mouth. Why does it do this? It says a hagfish doesn't have eyes, so it can't see. It finds prey by using its good sense of smell and by feeling around as it swims. It has several feelers around its mouth to help it find food. Eating in. A hagfish squeezes inside its prey's body because it mostly eats its meals from the inside out. It doesn't have jaws for chewing food. Instead, a hagfish sucks on meat inside an animal's dead body. When it's done eating, all that's left of the prey is skin and bones. Hagfish are not liked by fishermen. Often they eat the fishermen's catch before their nets can be pulled out of the ocean. And on the right, there's a picture of a hagfish eating. Around the world. There are about 70 different kinds of hagfish. They live in oceans all around the world. They swim in water that is cold and salty. Most hagfish stay near the ocean floor where they can find food. Some hagfish live really deep in the ocean, as far down as 9,186 feet or 2,800 meters. That's almost two miles or 3.2 kilometers below sea level. A muddy home. Most hagfish live in burrows at the bottom of the ocean. A burrow is a hole or tunnel made by an animal to live in. 
the hagfish pushes itself into the soft mud to shape its home. This home doesn't last for long, though. The burrow caves in when the hagfish leaves. Hagfish live in large groups. Up to 15,000 of these creatures may live close together in one small part of the ocean. Each one, however, has its own burrow. Baby hagfish. Though a hagfish lives in a burrow, it doesn't lay its eggs there. A mother hagfish lays her eggs in soft mud on the ocean floor. She lays about 25 eggs at a time. When first born, a hagfish looks like its parents, only smaller. Soon, the babies will be ready to ooze their own disgusting slime. Hagfish eggs have threads attached to them that stick to the ocean floor. So the eggs are able to stay in one place until they hatch. Another slimy defense. Hagfish aren't the only animals that use slime to stay safe. A clownfish is a type of fish that is covered in slime. This goo protects it from the deadly stings of a sticky sea animal called an anemone. When the anemone touches the slime of the clownfish, it thinks it's touching itself. It can't tell the difference between its own stickiness and the clownfish's slime. So the sea animal doesn't sting the clownfish. Here are just a few glossary terms from this nonfiction text. Feelers are the body parts near a hagfish's mouth that help it find food. Gills are body parts that help fish breathe underwater. Prey is an animal that is hunted by another animal for food. And slime is a soft, slippery goo made by hagfish to keep them safe from enemies.